Hello everybody, I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to Evo Land 2. We are here in Genova in the year 999, just ahead of the Great Disaster. That's basically what the deal is right now. Uh, and honestly, I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm very, very happy that in the last episode, I finally found the card game that this game has to offer. Uh, that to me is very, very exciting. So I'm really, really stoked about that. Uh, but I don't actually know what we're doing or where we're going or anything like that, if I'm completely honest. Um, I guess we can go and see what new weapons they've got in the shop. There might be something pretty cool about the place, although it looks like that is barracks rather than a weapon shop. I think mean, it's usually kind of like over to the western part of town, isn't it? Kind of the item stores and stuff like that. But you never know what's going to be an orphanage, what's going to be an armor store. I could have sworn I just came out of here. Maybe I didn't. Oh, you know what? I did just come in here. Uh, buy what we got. Ooh, steel stuff. Yep, I'm going to buy everything. Here we go. Steel sword. And these auto equip, so don't worry about me not equipping them. I don't need to go into a menu and slap them on. It's just wh whichever one's the strongest one at the time gets uh, gets equipped. There we go. We've got a steel belt. The noisemaker of a belt is not suitable for thieves or rogues. <laughs> and then we've also got the steel boots as well. Are we going to have a Zelda water temple thing? Oh, they protect your feet, but not against blisters. I mean, that's fair enough to say. Ooh, I just spotted something, everybody. Hold on a second. So remember how um, the little cutie mark crusader type girls had that treasure before? Looks like here, where we found Mudwell and those girls, there is a collectible star. Oh, come on. I thought there was going to be something a bit more exciting than that. Balls. <laughs> So I've just made my way over to the mines just because I was kind of curious as to what the hell was going off over here. And we've not really found anything else. What's that? <gasps> Ooh, you got a key from the children. The game would have been so much simpler with a lockpicking skill. All right, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that key does or what it represents, but I've just picked that up inside of the mines. Is there anything else for me to actually do here? I kind of walked in here and it's not triggered any cutscenes. I'm basically just trying to work out what I'm doing next. I don't really know. What happens if we try going over the Mayan bridge? I wonder if it's blocked over again. Let's have a little nosy. Usually it will stop me from doing stuff. Oh, okay, so that's still covered over. And obviously we don't have Menos with us anymore, so we can't do that. During the Great War, a demon prince supposedly lifted this boulder with his bare hands to close off the bridge and prevent the Imperial forces from advancing. What astounding strength he must have had. Can you believe it? Uh, well, it, it kind of went like that. I mean, not really lifted. More so just gently shoved, gently pushed. What's down here? Oh, we've got the Windy Valley, of course. Yeah, the Windy Valley. Do we need to be going around here? Oh, oh, this didn't used to be like a little workshop before. This is new. Hello. You're still here. Do you think I have time to waste? I came here for some peace and quiet. Now leave. I'm conducting important research. Of course, it's called Sid as well. Final Fantasy refs. Uh, you came here to mock me, did you? No. Oh, really? Well, then, let me tell you a story. Oh, okay, here we go. This is what we were looking for. Once upon a time, there lived a mad scientist, a terrific man whose knowledge was derived from mysterious sources. He wielded absolute power with even the ability to create new life forms. But one day, he disappeared without a trace, leaving his son fatherless and alone. That was my father. I barely remember him at all. He abandoned me when my mother died and I was only four years old. Ever since, I've been trying to outdo him. Well, I've been trying to outdo him. Oh, I see. By creating what no one has successfully made before. You will scarcely believe your eyes. What you got? A flying machine! Oh, yeah, we've, we've already used one of those. I know it sounds crazy, but with enough hard work, I believe I can do it. Even if it takes the rest of my life. Of course, if I had a prototype to work off of, that would make the task considerably easier. Now, I was just calculating lift aerodynamics and temporal gradients. Sure. So, is that it? So, I basically gotta go back to him if I ever come across a, um, a flying device that is slightly damaged or something. So, I could, if the world map is still sort of similar to before, I could head over to where the Stone of Time used to be. But that was kind of... I mean, I guess it was just like dead west, wasn't it? I mean, I don't think it was this far down, though. Because we, we kind of had it on top of the, um... What's it called? On top of that pyramid that we went to. Uh, but anyway, we'll go down to the village in a second because I've just realized it's just down there. I just want to have a little look in this lab first because I don't think we've ever been here before. At least I don't really recall a lab. It has been a good four or five hours since we were in the um, in the main area, as in like at the start of this game. Ooh, hello. That door looks awfully familiar. Okay. I mean, do, we, do you want me to try Fina it up? 
Let's have a little go. Fina! No, nope, bugger all. I highly doubt that Velvet is going to do anything either. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Let's carry on back down towards the village. That rock slide is blocking the way to my village. But we've got more important things to take care of right now. Like what? I don't, I don't understand what I've missed. What have we missed? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Huh? I mean, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I come into the library. There's just mana casually lying around. Of course there is. All right, so apparently if I want to progress through the story, I've got to go into here. So I've... Yeah, okay. This makes sense. Sure. Cool. Are we good to go? Yes. Perfect. Who are these five? Our goal is simple. Blow everything... Oh, my God. Are these the guys that are responsible for the disaster? Are there any kids, though? Operation Great Disaster is a go. What? Yes, prof. Oh, it's the prophet. <laughs> oh, no. It's the nee, nee nee guy. Oh, God, he even said it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is so weird. Hello. Who are you? You think you can thwart the prophet's plans? <laughs> right, okay, sure thing. And then I'm assuming that the secret organization that I came across a second ago, there was this kid up here. Yeah, look, you got to bring us one of the five keys to prove that you're a part of us. Yeah, he freaks out that he's not got a key. And then I've got a key, haven't I? Because I thought I just picked it up. I must have lost it when I was playing in that mine west of Genova. Yeah, I already have that key, don't I? I literally grabbed it like a second ago. Key from the children. Yeah, okay. So I have the key. So why won't you let me give it to you? You want me to, like, physically leave Genova first or something? To, like, trigger your little event to work or what? Maybe if I take it to, like, the Nini guy, maybe the Nini guy will recognize the key and be like, Oh, yeah, that's cool. He's one of us. You're legit. There you go. Who are you? You think you can thwart the plans? Nini, -ni -ni. No, nothing. Oh, wait, sorry. I've just reread it. So I need to bring him five keys rather than just the one. So have I now got to run around the town and basically find the four other kids and basically, like, work out where their keys have gotten to or something? Let's have a little chat with you. Have you heard of the prophet? Yes. Really? People are saying he's going to destroy the world. I thought that was just a legend. They told us to scare the kids. Okay. Right, here we go. You know about the great disaster and stuff? Don't rat on me to my folks. They'll ground me again. You won't squeal, right? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Here, you can borrow my key. Ah, nice. Okay. So I think maybe the only one that was outside the town it seems like it's going to be the one that was in the mines. And I just stumbled across that by complete accident as well. So, um, yeah, this is a good time for me. Uh, you're not part of all that stuff, are you? Nah, you're just some random dude or dudette, should I say. Ah, there's another kid just there. Mine out the way, please. Uh, how do I get to her in that garden, though? Oi, you. Talk to me through the fence. Ah, there you go. Cool, good stuff. If you're a mailman, we might have a shot, but you're, you're out of luck. Oh, I see. Sorry, it just took me a second there to clock it. She means it's in the mailbox. There you go. Good. <laughs> she completely dropped herself in it there. All right, so that's three keys. We need two more to find. And I feel like if we've lost those kids when we played hide and seek with them a while back, we'll never get those keys again. All right, anything good? Your key? Sure, it's for sale, but I don't think you can afford it. It's super rare, you know. Okay, if you insist, I'll give you a discount. Are you ready? I'll give you my key for 10G. Sure, why not? There you go. I forget kids like pocket money. You can give them like a quid and they'll be really happy. Or well, nowadays you couldn't. Inflation. Thanks, Obama. Even though you're the American president, not our uh, prime minister. But whatever. Uh, one more kid to find then. Um, so we've obviously got the kid that's up there. Is the final kid going to be inside of a building maybe? No, that door's locked. I just have a little wonder about the place. What about inside of here? This kid could literally be anywhere. This is the annoying thing about this game. At least Genova's not too like completely like massive. Um, where's the kid gonna be? Oh, I bet you I know where one of the kids is. I bet they're right down in the bottom left corner by the, um, by the sewer entrance. Guaranteed there's gonna be a kid there. Yep, knew it. I knew there was gonna be one there. Hello, you. You're playing with your key when a guard caught you. We're not really allowed to have keys, so he took it, and I'm pretty sure he stashed it away in one of the chests that they have at the foot of their beds. Right, okay, so it's inside of the barracks. Uh, question now is, though, is where the hell is the barracks? I always forget which one is which and where it is. I am like to think it's this one. Nope, that's the weapon shop. Okay. Usually the barracks is above that then. It's usually the next one up. It might be that one. Maybe. 
Yeah, that might be it. Hey, there you go. Right by the front door. Good stuff. Right, I think that is five keys, actually. So I think we should be all groovy and ready to rock. All right. You want to enter our secret base? First, you've got to bring the five keys that prove you're one of us. All right, so your key's missing. That's all good. We got the five keys. He's going to let us in. Booyah. All right, down the ladder. Oh, okay. The prophet has just run off in that direction. I'll tell you what. I think this might be a relatively short episode, but I'm going to leave it there for today because I feel like something big and cool and awesome is about to happen, or at least something quite substantial. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.